What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Randy with RTS Mobile Gaming, bringing you another fantastic Sea of Conquest video today. First of all, happy Friday folks, if you are watching this, the day of the release. We are here today to talk to you about Letitia Miller, the brand new hero that was just added to this game about an hour and a half ago, okay? She is a fantastic strategic mega nuker that applies some great buffs for her team. We'll talk about where she fits in, how to get her how her performance is, and my good buddy Kraken, okay, his name is TRB with the B and W gang, he already has Letitia Miller <laughs> at 10 star, maybe he'll have a 12 star soon, I don't know, he's already got her at 10 star with a maxed out trinket, uh, so he shared some battle reports with me that I will share with you later on in the stream, we'll also talk about the sponsor for this video, Paxify, so get excited. Okay, so how can you get Letitia Miller? Let's take a look at that. What a day. Let me start off by saying she is not a free-to-play hero. I cannot stress that enough, okay? You can probably get her to two or three, maybe even four stars as free-to-play. But currently in the game, and this might change in the future, you can only get her through this knife bounty. And you can also get her through the uh, Voyage of the Sea, Voyage of the Four Seas daily quest where you can get one, uh, or sorry, two free hero tokens a day. You can get her from there. So in order to use the knife bounty, and it's, a, I believe, a seven-day event, you're going to have to purchase knives. There are specific in-game packs that are necessary to purchase these knives. You can also get them in the stalls, okay, at the Hero Exchange token stall. It is going to sell 30 of them for 320 uh, currency a piece if you have um, excess hero currency okay hero tokens but you can purchase packs otherwise $100 will get you 40 sharp throwing knives uh, my buddy was able to get Letitia Miller to three star with uh, 30 throwing knives so there is definitely a chance because you can also get these um, through the in-game events for free in-game. There is definitely a chance that you'll be able to get her to two or three stars as free to play, but you're not going to get her any higher than that, that's for sure. Um, if you are going to purchase these, I highly recommend you use Paxify. Paxify has a Gleamstone summer sale right now. You can get up to a thousand Gleamstones, okay, for only $879. Check the link in my description below. Thank you to Paxify for sponsoring this video. They've been around for over three years. They save players more than four million dollars in player savings, and they have an app that's in the beta. Check it out. All right, so once you have the knives, you're gonna throw the knives, and this is a typical gambling spin the wheel type of deal. In addition, you will be getting free tokens after you throw a certain number of knives. So as you can see, you're almost guaranteed to get her just by throwing the knives because you're gonna get a bunch of bonus free tokens to recruit her in the end, okay? And that is really how you are gonna be playing well with Letitia Miller. So where does, well, let's talk about her skills. Then we'll talk about where she fits into the march and then we'll talk about the combat reports that my good buddy TRB shared with us. So that's exciting. Okay, uh, Divine Power, this is a massive nuker. This is a little bit less damage than is dealt by Griffin's nuke. Griffin does 300 at level 100. He does 360% damage to five targets. She only does 300% damage to five targets. So right off the bat, she does a little bit less damage than Griffin. However, one thing to note here is her rage cost for her skill is 1200. If you compare her to Griffin, you will see that pretty much every hero in the game currently, except for her, only needs 800 rage to trigger their rage skill. All right, and as you can see here, like I said, Griffin is 360% damage versus Letitia Miller's 300, okay? And Griffin is gonna tack on a bunch of additional damage if the enemy is healthy. Well, guess what? So is Letitia Miller. She is also going to tack on a tremendous amount of damage, if I can find it, uh, okay, here, power surge, a tremendous amount of damage if the enemy is healthy. So this is, again, not going to quite bring her up to Griffin's level. Griffin is basically unparalleled in the universe for a damage dealer. He is absolutely insane. Only Adeline can rival him. Uh, but Letitia Miller is going to be a great contributing nuker to the build, okay? In addition, she is going to apply a stacking attack bonus for your ship. This can stack up to 10 times. If you have her just at 2 star, okay, you're only going to get a 12% attack bonus and it goes up to 20%. 
um, after you have her maxed out. This is great. So what she is going to provide for your ship, in addition to dealing decent damage, is she's going to boost Griffin's damage even more by putting 20% attack onto the ship. All right. She is also going to boost the impact for your ship, further increasing Griffin's damage in her own. And her six star ability is going to deal additional strategic damage after she triggers an ultimate. Okay, and this can go up to 30% uh, base plus an additional 20% damage based on the magic abundance ranking. So once you put all of these things together, uh, wow, I pronounced that funny. Once you put all of these things together, she becomes a tremendous nuker that is going to be dealing somewhere between 330 to 360% damage, depending on how many stacks and what's going on. All right. That puts her on par with Griffin against, uh, unhealthy targets but as you know griffin does another 90 percent bonus damage against healthy targets so he is uh, and again that depends on his rank if i can find the skill i don't know where it is here it is uh, depends on the rank but he is really really powerful okay so that is what Letitia Miller does. Where is she going to fit into your ship? Well, if you are going to equip her on one of your ships, she is going to go ahead and fit into your Fearless Princess in Seasons 1 through 3, and then into your Orichi in Seasons 4 and onwards. She is going to take Molly's spot. Molly is great. Molly does a nice single target nuke. She applies some debuffs to the enemy. She gives some impact and other bonuses uh, to her ship here. If I could just click on the correct skill, that would be great. She does a lot of good things. Uh, she does good single target damage, and she does do pretty good damage. But at the end of the day, Letitia Miller is going to complement Griffin a little bit better than Molly because Letitia Miller is going to put the attack and impact bonus for the entire ship, and she's going to do great AoE damage as well. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of the reports, folks, uh, that my good buddy TRB, again, this is the uh, one of our... One of our favorite Krakens here. We love him long time. Let's take a look at this report that he sent me a little while ago. This is him massacring the enemy uh, at a port. There was four or five ships trying to fight him. He killed them all, and then he killed everybody who was auto-trading there. Uh, I saw it because I was there helping him kill everybody. All right, and this is the combat breakdown for this report. So it's really key that you pay attention to the distribution of damage on this ship. Griffin is in the lead with the top damage as to be expected. However, something you might be really interested in seeing, a level 40 Mega Kraken with maxed out stuff and a sixth ship with insanely powerful Cutthroat was out damaged by the strategic ship in this setup, okay? The strategic ship is an absolute cannon in this build, and Letitia Miller did tremendous damage to contribute to the overall performance of the build. This is her performance in this report. Let me open up another report. Let's see what we got here. And uh, one thing to note is there, you know, there is a such thing as killing people too fast. Is <laughs> a mega crack it. Um, so, you know, th there is a little bit of play in some of his reports. Mine are almost consistently the same damage ratio every fight. But like here, you can see Griffin most likely one-shotted two or three ships before uh, Cutthroat could get in there and get a foot in the door. But here you see another great damage spread that really highlights how powerful Letitia Miller is in combat. Let me compare to one of my own reports where I currently have Molly in this slot. We're running almost the same build on the, uh, on the strategic ship. Let me just show you one of the reports that I just did a few minutes ago, also fighting people at a port and then killing auto traders. So please forgive me. I just saved it. It's from a half hour ago. All right. And as you can see here, I am not a level 40 Kraken with all my ships maxed out, but I am 35 and I do have the plus one fourth, uh, fourth level hero here. And you can see that I have Griffin, Molly, and Boa on this strategic ship. And uh, actually, my, my strategic ship did lower damage because I'm currently putting all my uh, eggs into the artillery basket to try and test an artillery build. But I want to show you the damage spread here. So this is a great way to see the damage spread. Griffin doing tremendous damage. Boa, similar in comparison to how she was performing for TRB. But then you see Molly here typically performs... She actually usually performs slightly worse than Boa. In this particular report, she did a little bit better. So, 
Letitia Miller, folks, she is absolutely fantastic. I have to recommend her for you if you are going to spend some money in this game, which I am not endorsing or encouraging you to do. Uh, feel free to use Paxify and get up to a 15 to 35 percent discount depending on where you live. Thank you, Paxify, for sponsoring this video. Uh, and yes, you will probably have to spend two or three hundred dollars uh, or a little bit less with Paxify in order to get Letitia Miller up to six stars and unlock her six star ability. Okay. Summary of Letitia Miller, folks. Brand new hero just added tonight less than two hours ago and we'll cover Ricky next in a different video he is another hero that was just added tonight who is an absolute rock star so like and subscribe Randy out